In this video, I'm talking about the sequence settings and clip mismatch warning menu that you get inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, you've got your composition created, you drag some footage onto your timeline and boom, there it is. Clip mismatch warning. This clip does not match the sequences settings, change sequence settings to match the clip settings. What does this mean? Essentially, this means that the footage that you're importing and the sequence itself have completely different settings. So this could be a different frame size. So maybe you filmed in 5K and the sequence is 1080. Maybe you filmed in 23.976 frames per second and the sequence is 25 frames per second. Basically, if there is a different setting on your footage to your sequence, Adobe Premiere Pro will trigger this warning. So there's two ways of avoiding this. You can one, just avoid shooting in the different settings. So if you know you want a 1920 by 1080 video in 25 frames per second, then you can go ahead and film all of your footage in 1920 by 1080 pixels at 25 frames per second. That is one way to avoid this. Or alternatively, if you want a 1920 by 1080 sequence in 25 frames, but you need to shoot in a high resolution for digital resizing, or if you're shooting in a higher frame rate like 60 to get slow motion, then that's fine. All you have to do is just keep existing settings and that will go. The only issue is though, if you shoot in a higher frame size like 4K, 5K, 8K for example, then it does mean your footage is going to be zoomed in when you import it. So all you have to do to fix that is go to motion, scale and you just scale down your footage to now fit your 1080p composition and there you go it really is that simple the sequence settings and the clip mismatch warning basically mean your footage and your sequence aren't matching but that's fine you can just import your footage anywhere this is one of those warnings that when people who are new to premiere pro import their footage always worry about is it going to damage the footage is it going to make everything look bad no, it won't affect anything. It's just basically saying you're not matching, but do you wanna carry on anyway, or do you want to change your sequence settings? So it's completely fine and completely harmless. So there you go. If this video answered your question, or if this was helpful at all, then please do let me know in that comment section below. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully it answered that question for you. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. See you there.